2018 Smart Forto Electric Drive Car Review If you will find there's natural habitat for the majority of, of today's electric cars, Oahu is the city. Their comparatively short driving range doesn't matter as often in town, as well as their high efficiency at lower speeds plays out just as one advantage. So it's only logical that this quintessential city car, the Smart Forto, exists with an electric powertrain. The latest addition could be the Cabriolet version. Its fabric top is usually pulled back and lowered in the touch of a mouse button, for only more open air feeling, the cover bars is usually removed and trapped in the surprisingly spacious trunk. The good points of 2018 Smart Forto Electric Drive Quick overline, ultra maneuverable, capable to park in spaces others can't. The bad points of 2018 Smart Forto Electric Drive Limited range, high price, stuck from the city. At $28,750 before any possible incentives. The Cabrio isn't cheap, nevertheless the smart never has become. Still, the electric drive's price represents a large jump over the outgoing, gasoline-powered Cabriolet, which stickered for $19,650, at the very least before smart chosen to drop its gas-powered models on the U.S. market. Anyway, this car is around being first away in the stoplight to everyone else's surprise. Enjoying and taking inside city, snatching the very last parking spot before the cafe, and looking out stylish, or nerdy, based on one's perspective. The Forto executes this perfectly. The new model looks beefier versus the outgoing one, where there are myriad individualization options, the range of colors is vast, as well as the Tridian safety cell, a area of the unibody that's made visible with the sheet metal might be painted to fit the rest with the car or even in a contrasting color. The mid-mounted, 80-horsepower electric motor generates a substantial 118 lb-ft of torque and punts the colorful gumdrop to 60 miles per hour in 11.7 seconds, says Smart. That sounds slow, nevertheless the Smart is particularly quick away from the line. Top speed is governed at 81 miles per hour, it could actually go faster, but higher speeds would severely cut in the range. No car parks with less effort than a Smart, and not merely because of its diminutive 106.1 inch length. The turning circle is often a remarkable 22.8 feet. The target were to beat the Cyan IQ. Smart have been embarrassed by the fact which the IQ stood a smaller turning circle than the very last Gen 4 to. The IQ has since been taken away from the market as gets the Cyan brand, but smart buyers still benefit in the competitive spirit that went into engineering the newest model. The electrically assisted power steering offers almost no feedback on the road surface, and its particular strong self-centering action reminds us of old Citroens. Of course, a town car needn't be considered a racer, but the world thinks that a little tweaking could increase the feel a lot. At least the suspension is very comfortable, however with such a tiny wheelbase, it appears to be to hop over any bumps taken with excessive zeal. The brake's front disc's rear drums think rather artificial. Smart says the Ford hook can be 70 to 80 miles before it must be recharged. It must spend three hours attached to a 240-volt outlet for the full charge, the choice is 16.5 hours for a 120-volt household plug. Is electric only a smart move? While it's evident that it tiny convertible is usually a great city car, what's less clear is actually it works like a full alternative to the gasoline-powered smart. Sold alongside the now-defunct gas models, the electric smarts made up only 19% from the brand's total U.S. sales from 2014 through 2016. Management hopes to convert a higher proportion in the other 81%, plus attract lots of customers. 
one customer who won't appear is Wayne Wilson. The 44-year-old consultant from Brooklyn is often a repeat smart customer. He was one from the first to find the current model, which fits his needs perfectly, zipping around Brooklyn's Park Slope and Prospect Heights neighborhoods, hell find parking virtually anywhere. He also wants to take his smart beyond the town limits inside the summer. With the electric model, range would turn into a concern, and also the smart's unique advantage will disappear. I got a new smart to be capable to park anywhere at any time, but electric plugs are near to non-existent within my neighborhoods, says Wilson. And, he adds, I am not purchasing a car into the future that will be coming someday. I am buying it for the moment. Says Wilson, every time I park for the reason that impossible spot that everybody else has got to drive past, I love my car. But I simply don't see myself getting another if it means going electric. Even Smart's fashionable urban audience demands a particular level of practicality. In many areas, the electric drive cabriolet probably won't meet that threshold, regardless of whether it is usually a good ever. We'll